Whether you work at a public, school, or academic library, the reference desk gets busy, especially when students realize they have research papers coming due. Your interaction with them needs to move quickly as you may be working the desk by yourself and others will be lining up for your help. To get them their resources quickly, practice moving through this process. Naturally, start with the reference interview. This is your chance to help the user narrow things down and start figuring out the smaller pieces you'll eventually use for searching. As you talk together, you'll start to think of which databases will be right. Then it's time to jump into the void with a decision to search for a known item or a more general subject search. It can be daunting to step off the edge, but if you've been asking the right questions and listening, you should be able to make an educated guess. These first three steps will happen very quickly, almost simultaneously, especially as you start to get more practice. Beware, though, if the student has only one facet, it may be necessary to point them in the direction of a more general encyclopedia, subject dictionary, or other discipline-specific reference source in order to narrow down their topic. This is an especially common problem with first-year composition courses, where students have a lot of freedom in choosing their topic and may be overly focused on something like censorship, or climate change, or slavery. Alternatively, conduct a controlled vocabulary search for these topics in a research database, showing the user its subject-oriented clusters to narrow things down. Once you have the topic narrowed, it's time to take your little pieces and rearrange them into your facet analysis and logical combination. This is where you use the tools and strategies learned here in order to formulate a search statement to feed into the database you've chosen. How you formulate your statements depends on which database you've chosen, since they're all a little different. It's a good idea to stick with the a la carte version of the building block strategy when you're pressed for time, since it works with both Boolean and extended Boolean systems. One search term per facet should be good enough to get the patron started, and you can always tweak things from there. Most systems have the capability to email a search, complete with the search boxes and all, to a patron. If you have multiple patrons in line, it's a good idea to email them a link and remind them that they can always come back if things aren't working out. Before you call things done, make sure to take a gander at the results and make sure you're on the right track. You should also explain to the user how the system displays retrievals lists and how to change it, and point out push-button ways of finding more relevant retrievals, such as cited references and find like links. Then you can safely send the patron on their own research adventure, knowing they have a lifeline back to the librarians, should they need more help, of course.